Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on integrating trig functions where we use a trig identity to help simplify the integral. Now you might want to have a go at these, I don't know, but if you do want to have a go at them just pause the video now and come back in a few moments and uh, see how you got on. Okay, welcome back if you did have a go. So let's just see how to integrate tan squared x plus 1. Well, what you have to do is turn to an identity. And that identity is this one. It is 1 plus tan squared of any angle, let's say A, is identical to sec squared of that angle. In this case, A. So, when it comes to integrating tan squared x plus 1, OK, it's the other way around, but it's the same as 1 plus tan squared x, then according to this identity, it must be the same as integrating sec squared x. The a is the x. So, we've got that this is the integral of sec squared x with respect to x. And you should know the integral of sec squared x. It's a standard integral. It's tan x. If you differentiate tan x, you get sec squared x. So the integral of sec squared x must be tan x. And we mustn't forget that constant of integration, which I'm going to call plus c. OK, that might have given you a hint then, if you struggle with this one, how to do it. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video if you want to have a go. OK, welcome back. Let's just see how you got on with this one. In this one, our a is now 5 theta. 1 plus tan squared 5 theta becomes exactly the same as the integral of sec squared 5 theta. Don't forget that d theta on the end there. And what is the integral of sec squared 5 theta? Well, it's not tan 5 theta. Mind you, it's fairly close to that. Because if you differentiated tan 5 theta, you would get 5 sec squared 5 theta. But you'd need to multiply it by a fifth, so that a fifth of 5 sec squared theta becomes sec squared 5 theta. So I hope you got that. And then that's plus the constant of integration. Now in this last one, do you know what you do? Well, you pull out a common factor of 3. And I'm going to pull it out because it's a constant in front of the integral. You don't have to do that, but it's always sensible to try and pull out constants in front of integrals. It really does help simplify what you've got inside. And what we would have inside is 1 plus tan squared 2x. And we're integrating that with respect to x. So again, can you see that the a here is the 2x? So what we have is 3 times the integral of sec squared 2x. And that's integrated with respect to x. So what is that integral? Well, the 3 is going to stay the same. Integrating sec squared 2x well, it's going to be basically a tan 2x, but this, if differentiated, would give us 2 sec squared 2x. So we need to times it by a half. So we've got 3 times a half tan 2x plus a constant of integration. And we could tidy this up by just writing 3 over 2 and then tan 2x plus the constant of integration. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea how we can use this identity then when you've got anything to integrate that's of that particular format. 